Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my Your MC Let's Play. So here we are, episode 7, the first e episode of 2015, and to knock off the new year, knock off the new year, would that be the proper way to say it? I suppose so. To start off the new year right, we are going to be starting work today on our base, because like I've said many times before, all of this around here, this is just temporary and so on. Uh, watch me never remove some of it, like this, this room all right here. But, yeah. Anyways, in between episodes, I have, uh, I have gotten quite a lot of iron blocks. I've gotten, like, literally one sack of it has come just directly from tra trading with another player. Pretty much someone else wanted some with exalting salts, and it's just like, I have two extra. And I have no immediate need for them, because, you know, two beacons is enough for what we're going to be doing for now. So, I actually tra traded them to this guy on the server. I believe his name's Oliver G's is who I traded them to. So, yeah, I traded him those, and, uh, what else did I trade him? I gave him, hmm, oh yeah, that's right, uh, I gave him a Federfall and 4 book, all for one sack of iron blocks, and man, oh man, I'm glad, I, and so I'm glad I took his deal, and he took mine, and so on, because, ah, uh, just need those iron blocks for a full level beacon, because, of course, we are going to be needing, uh, we are going to be needing efficiency 5 pick, pick and haste 2 for this base and I am getting a little bit ahead of myself I should probably show you why we need that and so on and I will in a moment let's see is there anything oh yeah this chest is supposed to be removed um, and if I just yeah I moved it over here like all the glass and so on let's see I'm trying to think I, I feel like I'm forgetting something hmm okay I don't think I'm forgetting anything so Anyways, what's our base design going to be? Well, in order to show you, I'm going to actually hop into a test world where I've built a Excel model of it. Pretty much like a small Excel model of it. So, yeah, let's go there now. Okay, so here we are in my test world, and here is our base plan. So, yeah, where do I even start with this thing? Um, I guess for, first off I'll start with like the pretty much the basic design of it which was the original design I came up with which I actually got over there but then I was like uh no I need to go ahead and beef up the Excel model here and so on but yeah pretty much the base of the base is pretty much like a tr trench in a shape of a triangle you can pretty much think of it like so like down in here this is going to be I would assume about 16 um, for 30 blocks down, probably not 30, more like, probably like 20 blocks down, so 20 blocks deep, about, maybe, I don't know, maybe a little bit more or something, I'm, I'm gonna have to check some other things. And in here, we actually are gonna have, uh, support for an item sorter and so on, so, yeah, there's that, but, yeah, to give you a sense of the size, I'm hope, um, what I want is like this back wall to be at least... Uh, 80 blocks long, so, yeah, that can kind of give you an idea of the size. This thing isn't going to be absolutely freaking massive, but it's going to be kind of massive. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to take a lot of time to make. But, yeah, as you can see right here in the center, we got this. We'll have our region post, which will be exactly in center. And pretty much right here, we'll have these kind of, like, supports going up to this middle area. And to, like, this middle area in the Xi. Don't really know how high up this will be. Hmm, I'm gonna bet it's gonna be about 50 blocks, 60 blocks up. Uh, that, that's just off the top of my head, and so on. But up here, we're probably going to have kind of like a, I don't want to say like a cylinder, and a cylinder, and then inside of it is going to be pretty much, um, I guess, I guess you could pretty much just say my room in a sense. It's gonna be, you know, some basic decorations into a bed, uh, a chest, under chest. It's going to pretty much just be kind of like a lookout. And, and a cool place overall. I don't know if I'll really do anything with it, but uh, one thing is I really want to note is the region post will be down there. And you know, if we don't, if we want to make sure the region post doesn't spawn on top of this, we gotta make sure there's a opening for it, so you know it doesn't spawn on top of here. But at the same time, it got me thinking. You know, we could technically have the region. You could, we could pretty much like build a platform up here, and then the region post will respawn up here. And, yeah, pretty much that would result in, well, you know, the region post being up here instead of down there. And I don't know. We, we could do it. We could do it. But anyways, back to the base design. Uh, the, well, 
we are talking about the base design. Back to pretty much the key pieces. I'm just jumping all over the place. I know I am, and I'm sorry for that, but whatever. Uh, in the cor in all the corners, we are going to have beacons. So that's what I meant when I said our base design is going to require uh, pretty much at least three beacons. Or at least, like, these are going to be three spots for beacons. So in each spot, we could technically have more than one beacon. But that's the idea, and it can give us full coverage of the base in terms of, you know, beacon effects and so on. So, yeah. Uh, I already covered the fact... Did I already cover the fact about the optional item store? I don't know. I don't think I did. Um, in this back wall, we're going to have an option where we can have an optional item sorter and so on. So, yeah, if we ever if we ever get if we ever wish to build an item store pretty much, we can build one here. If we don't, then we don't. Uh, I guess my point is this base is item sorter ready in a sense. And because on the old server on uh, you know, on the old map and on the and in my old base, it wasn't designed for with an item sorter in mind and therefore the item sorter was always a pain in the butt to build and so on, just didn't have enough room to really do what needed to be done. Not the case anymore. If we decide to build it, we got it. And there, and so on. Okay. So with that out of the way, over in this area, I was thinking of having some farms, like in this corner. Um, now I know villagers can kind of, you know, do, you can make like automatic like wheat, carrot, potato farms with, villi with using villagers and so on. I haven't really looked in too much into it. But I'm thinking we're probably going to have that doing all that there. Then over here, I was thinking, uh, you know how, like, uh, and so at my old base and so on the old ser server slash map, uh, I had, like, a village area. And I was almost thinking, you know, we, we can do, like, an indoor village area. And so on. And actually, up here, and so we're going to have this kind of grass plain stuff. So, um, we could probably have, like, a village or a town here or something. But one thing is I probably don't want to have villagers up here. And that is because if we go over here, this is where I'm going to... Well, I can't see stuff because beacon beam blocking view. Ah, <sighs> go away. There we go. This is where we are going to have our dual iron farm. It's right here at the corner. We're going to have like uh, one, f one of the farms down there at pretty much like zero, zero or near zero, zero. Then the other one's gonna be up here at around Y70 to Y80. It all depends, and so on. So yeah, that's going to be our iron farm. It's not gonna be anything extreme. A simple dual iron farm, I think, is going to be produce like plenty of iron for us. Uh, recently, I was running some tests in a test world like for with a single iron farm for something. It was it, it was not to see how much iron we get, but it, it was for something else to make to make sure iron farms worked properly when I set some certain settings inside Spigot's uh, configuration. But uh, pretty much hmm, I kinda lost track. Pretty pretty much like one single iron farm in like half an hour was or an hour was like uh, only about a sack or a half a sack of iron and stuff so it's like you get a sack of iron per hour or maybe it was actually a half sack per of iron per hour. And I was kinda like eh you know, with that number in mind, a dual iron farm. So, yeah. What are we going to do in these kind of trenches, I suppose I'll call, call them for now? I really don't know at the moment. There's just a lot of room here, and I'm sure we'll find something to do with them, and so on. And, yeah. And also, all the glass have been smelting up. Yeah, this is what I need it for, because we're going to have this kind of glass ceiling roof. And you've, you've seen spawn and how it kind of arcs. We're going to be doing pretty much the same thing. And yeah, over some of the arcs, we're also going to have uh, paths go over them, so we gotta keep that in mind. Like right here, we're going to have a path. Right here, we're going to have a path go out diagonally, path there. And then over here, likely a path as well on both sides. So yeah, that is pretty much the full extent of my base plan so far. Now the real question. How big do we actually build this? Like, at what scale do we go up to? That is going to be hard. I know this back wall for proper item sorter support. I need at least 64 blocks of room for an item sorter, but technically a little bit more. So 80 blocks, so like the wall back here has to be like 80 blocks long at the least. So with that in mind and so on. And also I got to take into consideration the region post because we can't move it. So we pr literally have to build around it here and so on. And, yeah, pretty much getting this entire thing to prop week sale. Oh my goodness, this is going to be really, really tricky. Uh, we're going to have, like, this middle bit. And then we're going... Oh my goodness. 
just trying to think of you of, of laying this thing out is already giving me a bit of a headache but yeah uh, this is what we really needed the uh, haste 2 and uh yeah this is what we really need the haste 2 and the uh, efficiency 5 pickaxes for and so on is pretty much for this trench which like I said isn't going to be going all that far down in fact arguably it's not going it's not even going to be going as far down as spawns uh, kind of trench design if you will and so on because yeah that, that was a lot of blocks right there though with spawn you with with building spawn of course I use like creative mode and world edit for that for with this this is all legit every block has to be broken and placed by hand so yeah, we're probably not going to go down too far. Anyways, I'm going to go back online on the server and try and figure out, like, the outline of this so we can start digging and doing stuff. Well, here we are, back on the server, and I'm getting hung up on the stupidest fiends ever. Which way do we point the triangle? Oh, hello, zombie pigman. <laughs> um, originally I was thinking, well, let's see, we could go ahead and, uh, have vi like which part is the back end which part is the point part because it's just like you know it's like maybe I should go ahead and kind of be like oh, you know point in a cert certain direction for some reason I don't know it's just like for some reason I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have it like symbolize something I don't know I don't know um I don't know at all I'm thinking uh really if I'm going to just you know build it w in which uh in which way is like the most convenient then I'm probably gonna have the back end over here and then like the tip over here to the west which you know what let's get rid of the weather I I hate the rain um, as you can see right there the Sun and the like right yeah rises in the east sets in the west so in a sense we'll get the sunset in that direction so it could be pointing to the sunset and it could be all yeah I, I I suppose so. I think that could work. I don't know. In, in a sense, that would probably be the one like best uh, best. Uh, that would probably be the best way to do this, given that you know if we do this right here, we got a risk of the back wall running into a plains biome, and I want to make take advantage of the, all the darker colored grass and so on uh, in, the, in this biome and so on. I don't want to have any part of it. I don't want to be placing bushes inside my base. And have them look an ugly washed out plains color. No, I want this deep green all throughout it. So, yeah, back wall over there, uh, po pointing towards the west. Uh, yeah. If that makes any sense, there we go. <laughs> well, I went ahead and laid out Neverrack as just a temporary block to kind of get a sense of diagonally, like these, uh, back, back, uh, what would you call them almost? Like supports going up to, like, this kind of main lookup to this uh, lookout room up top and so on uh, got those and the, for the two back supports and the one for the forward support they all go out 50 blocks and yeah actually we can get go ahead I've made a little platform here to get a better look at it oh boy almost didn't make it there that would have been bad because uh yeah right writable ice vendor slash ender pearls like I discussed in the last episode have a limiting system so after a certain point you're going nowhere with them so, yeah, as you can see from right up here, you can kind of get a sense of how it may look. Hmm. It's still very difficult. Like, right there is a 25 block mark, which is kind of like a realistic uh, point and the, for the nose to hit. But, yeah, I'm not quite sure exactly how big I'll need to make this. But then again, if I want the back wall to be like 80 blocks long... Well, let's do some quick math. So, you know, since both, since both of these, like, uh, they go out diagonally and so on, uh, and that one goes out to 50, that one goes out to 50, uh, pretty much, ends up, if, if, if I know how to math, then, well, actually, technically, because we got a zero, zero involved, and then in between, like, the 50th mark over there and over there, that's 101 blocks, and for a back wall, possibly. So, yeah, we can kind of look at it like that, and I, you know what, when I kind of look at it like that, and I imagine that being the back wall, I almost go, that's a little bit on the small side. I mean, I'd almost look at them and be like, oh no, that's the inner wall. I, I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's like, yeah, yeah, I, I, it's like, whatever I do, it's like, one way, I, I'm either gonna make it too small for whatever I want to do inside of it, or, you know, B, I'm gonna go ahead and... I, I never did say an A. A, I'm either going to make it too small for for really what I want to do in there over time and so on. I mean, currently, I don't know really what I all want to do, but it's going to be too small for, like, the expandability. Or B, 
it's too big and then I, it takes too long to build and so on and you know I, I don't have all the time in the world to play on here and so on I, I, I mean I gotta maintain the server as well keep that in mind that takes some time so yeah man this is this is sure a problem this is sure indeed a problem one that I hope we have solved when we next talk well it's been a little bit less than an hour already and I have and of decided that really f f to, to, to be able to, to do what I want to do with this the inner triangle part of it and there should be 50 blocks from zero zero and zero not counting as it, not counting zero of course we're not counting zero um, we're counting at one here and so on but um, yeah anyways I've kind of run into a position where it's just like uh, for and just where I'm like uh, how much room do I need like in these sort of uh, trenches air areas now i'm thinking not really much because a lot of what we're going to be doing down there is digging out underground sections and so on we're not going to be do doing stuff right in the trenches the trenches are more so the paths to the stuff so you know it's just like underneath all this we may have it all hollowed out down there and that's where we do stuff and so on um and along the the edge as well and the but the trench itself is literally just a path and so on with some fancy walls or at least that's the idea now remember how i said i was gonna put the dual iron farm at the tip of the thing well um i'm thinking you know if i do this which looks like a perfect size by the way uh i won't really have room to put iron f put an iron farm inside the tip part without like deforming it and so on and I don't really like the idea of doing that. The idea was to, you know, keep the shape and so on, which this wouldn't do. Um, so I went ahead and s to see, and unfortunately, the landscape makes it look really weird. But uh, how, you know, if we went and if we went out on our 16 blocks there. By the way, that's 30 blocks right there for that. So, yeah. Um, if we went, I'm sorry, 32 blocks. So I went out on our 16. And yeah, I, I think at that point that's too much. There's too much to haul out. There's not, and and at that point we're just gonna have a lot of open area in the base that it doesn't get used if we do that. I mean that kind of room is what I want for the back wall, not for the not not for these uh, trench parts or whatever. So yeah, let's see if I can get. Yeah, you can kind of get a better look of it here. Oh man, I love these writable ends of Eyes of Ender slash Ender Pearls, but at the same time, like I said, I'm so kind of considering whether or not to keep them. But yeah. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, I, it's gonna take me a little bit more thinking to do. And one thing is, um, like here at the tip, uh, I actually did. Well, is this correct? Yeah, this is correct. Okay, okay. I thought I thought I like, started uh started it here and so on, but no, I started it there. Okay. But, yeah. As you can see, just to give you an idea of a close-up perspective, I mean, of course, the walls, you know, they're going to have some stuff probably on them, though at the same time, when it comes to the walls, both inner, like, both the inner and outer walls, uh, pretty much like the inner wall, we're going to be building inner ways, uh, if the wall has any, like, 3D-ness to it, rather than out, or at least out too much. So it's just like, if this wall, like, uh, like, for example, let's just say, this is that wall right there and so on uh we may go ahead and thicken it up and so on if we so wish um so yeah but that will come in and for the outside wall it will go out if we do that so it's not gonna affect the uh, room we have in here by too much or anything uh yeah i don't know i think this is just perfect but if we go over here right when the pro uh, yeah this is freaking massive at this point and that no no. If I had multiple people building on my base, I could be like, yeah, you know, that gets plenty of room for more stuff, but no, no. I'm just one guy building this, you know. I'm sure Evs is going to help out here and there and so on, but, um, yeah, this is vir virtually all me, so, yeah, I gotta, gotta make sure, uh, gotta make sure I got enough room for everything. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead, uh, place out some more outlines, and I may actually have to go to the Never for more Never Rack. Because, literally, it's just like, I don't want to use dirt for obvious reasons. I don't want to use cobblestone because I can't instant mine it, you know. I uh, can't get rid of it easily. So, yeah. I may literally have to go to the never to get more of a trash block. Uh, if only I didn't smell tons of this up before. Darn it. <laughs> oh my goodness.
Right now, we're pretty much looking at half of this thing in terms of, you know, the simple layout and stuff with, uh, Neverrack and so on. And my goodness, does it look freaking big. Oh my. I'm wondering if I can get it in over my head here. But anyways, I have done, well, pretty much, uh, this corner over here in terms of layout, though I am a little bit stuck on something, and actually, please don't dive. Okay, good, good. Uh, I was kind of afraid, and so... I, you know, I almost died from jumping off of there earlier, like, down to half a heart. That was, a uh, quite scary or whatever. But anyways, I guess one thing is, right here, I'm kind of hung up on, uh, one thing, and that is, how big do I want this back-end part? Because if you, if you remember, like, in the test world, the back-end part was actually, like, you know, a little bit wider than pretty much these parts, where, uh, Right here, if you were to go, like, from here all the way over there, that's pretty much, like, about 15, 16 blocks. And right here, like, a 16 block gap right here. I don't know. I don't know. And so it's kind of, it was kind of my intent to have it be a little bit more robust. Would robust be, no, bigger, and so on. But, yeah, anyways, let's see. Um, is that where, okay. Oh, yeah, that, that's there. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, um, I was actually thinking expanding this back eight more blocks because we went to the full 32 blocks and so on. Um, I think that would be a little bit too much for this, but eight more blocks could work good. Though there is one thing to to consider, and and, so, and this is and this is related to pretty much the item sorter. Um, the and so right here we have a chunk border. So if you look uh right there at chunk, it says 15 1 8. Now, if I go up here, that 15 changes to a 0. That's a chunk border. So, right here's a chunk, and right there's a separate chunk. And the thing is, this uh, item sorter design ends up that I have in my test world. I didn't, never showed it, I don't think. Well, maybe I did once, but... Um, it, it pre No, I think I showed a very older version of it. Maybe I'll show it in, the, in this video in the later on. I don't know. But, um, pretty much, as if the idea of it... it was uh you know pretty much each each slice would all would fit in a six would it fit in a one by sixteen area meaning like a slice would either be loaded in loaded or not so that way you know unloaded redstone or anything uh, wouldn't cause problems in theory um, I don't know if that actually can cause problems I would assume so but yeah anyways if we brought this back by eight you know pretty much back to here or actually um, if we wanted to have twenty two blocks in between it would actually be back here then we're going to be back behind this chunk border which means if we put in an item store it's going to have to come forward a bit and so on it's going to overhang out here and it's all going to probably look really ugly if we did that or we'd have to push you know the item store all, all the way back into even more which um i don't think so i i like to keep my options really open and so on so i'm thinking you know we could just go go ahead and say with 16 here in fact if I wanted to, I could technically go up to... Uh, ow. Phoenix skeleton. <sighs> Get in my way. Um, we could technically make this, you know, 18 or... Uh, 18, tw 20? Wait, what? No, no, no. No, no, no. This is 16. Um, 16, yeah. 18. 20. 22. Wait a minute. Did I... That's 18, 20, 22. That's a 22th block. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't even math right now. I, I, I can't even math. Let me just mark that. I'll just put 22. I'll know what it means. <laughs> okay. There we go. Um, I guess we could bring it back here. Is that even correct? I, I don't know. Like, let me, let me go from here. Because that's supposed to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, that's not. Why was I think, thinking that? Well, I was counting by 2, so this would be 18, 20, 22. Huh. Oh, maybe it's because... No. Okay, I, I, I legitimately have confused myself. I legitimately have confused myself. Uh, I mean, let's see. You know, that's two, three, four. Oh boy. 
Uh, now two, four, six, eight. So actually, actually, yeah, twenty-four. So I, I, I put down a sign of saying twenty-two when it was supposed to say twenty-four. Okay, there we go. Problem solved. I can totally do math. <laughs> Freaking my goodness. How did I screw that up? I do not even know. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, I was a little bit hungry when I did this. So there we go. I got excuses. I was hungry. Couldn't help it, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. After that embarrassment. Um, yeah. You know what? You know what? We can pull this back by two more blocks with no problem. We can pull it back four more blocks. And I think that we could do entirely because, like, a, yeah, we, we got this extra block of room. It's all perfectly fine there. So, actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that as, a, you know, give, give us a little bit more room to work here. Well, I don't know about you, but from up here, I definitely say those four extra blocks help. It, it gives it a little bit more bulk to it, just like in the Excel model in our test world. And you know what? Right now, how about we go into that test world and I'll go ahead and show you and of uh, my current my item sorter design um, and of that I am considering if I build one well then again I haven't had a lot of time on my hands to test these things so at the same time it may not work and so on but uh, anyways basically this item sorter design which is right here yeah look at that that's a freaking beast right there but um, pretty much it's based off a ends up off of this item sort of ends up by the zip crowd ends up guys I, I forget which one of them specifically designed it or whatever I, I think into really only a, one or two or a few of them helped to design it or something I I really forget but it's heavily based on you know that concept of having uh, I having items you know transported o over ice and so on and then, you know, uh, having this system where you keep the redstone wires separate and of where, you know, one's a simple redstone dust, redstone dust, you know, repeat, repeat, or the other ones uses a piston. But, <clears throat> but yeah. Anyways, if we go over here to my design, you can see right here and so that it's been, you know, of course, designed to fit within a, within a chunk, pretty much. Uh, so the way you, the redstone for it is either all loaded or it isn't. So, yeah, you can pretty much see it right there. And actually, if you look right here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, six possible items that could be sorted each row. So, yeah, if this thing, if this thing actually works, it, it could be really freaking beast. But like I said, like I said, uh, I doubt we're actually going to be building it. It's just something like, look, look at this. This is freaking insane. And you gotta imagine how much it's gonna drop frame rate. I mean, look at my frames right now. They're like at 80. I look away from here, and yeah, there, there goes my frame rate. It's now it's locked back at 120, but it's like I look here. Yeah, there it is. It's starting to drop below 60 a little bit. But yeah, this thing would be quite a performance hog, and not even not only to the client, but also server side. So that's something to keep in mind. But yeah anyways done showing you this now it's time to go back onto the server and i'm going to work on uh the layout more and i'll get back to you and when there's something interesting to report on well there we go all the outlines are in place uh technically got to remove some of that uh never act right there at the tip but that's pretty much it for now and of a uh, well, not really it for now. Now it's come down, comes down to digging and also choosing like what Y level we want to, um, what Y level we want this thing to kind of level off at until before it goes into its kind of glass end of dome overhang thingy sort of thing, and so on. And also, I would also like to say um, the dual iron farm. I don't think we'll be putting it there at the tip unless it's outside of the tip because there isn't really a lot of room there. And I want a path to be there and so on. And I just don't really think it's going to fit in all that well. Unless I deform the tip. In which I don't really want to do. So we're probably going to be p building iron farms in a separate location. And a new person has joined. I'll welcome him right now I suppose. Welcome. Uh, yeah. Anyways, it is quite late for me right now. So I'm actually going to go to bed. And, ta and decide what to do next in the morning. 
Oh, and also, just to know, this did take quite a lo lot of time because, uh, well, you know, the oak trees, right, oak trees, dark oak trees right there. So much wood to mine out. In fact, I'll, I'll show this off really quickly. Um, yeah, this chest, all through that, like, little strip of dark, dark oak trees I had to chop down, got this much wood from them. Freaking crazy. Anyways, see you guys tomorrow. Well, it is another day, and I have decided to start this off by going ahead and getting my beacon set up. Now, originally I was only going to use one for the haste too, but then I got to thinking, you know what else would be really useful? Jump boost too. Admittedly, speed and regeneration one could be really good, but yeah, I think the jump boost is going to be a lot better because it'll allow us to jump over two block. Uh, it'll allow us to jump up to two blocks, so. Yeah, I just hope I have enough iron and gold blocks because these are all my these are all my blocks right here. So yeah, I really hope we got enough. Well. Thank goodness I have enough for one level beacon, because I believe this is technically the max level for one beacon. Uh, let's see. Come on, unlock. There we go. Uh, yeah, I can choose strength and yeah. Okay, so haste, haste two. Oh, I need to give it an offering. There we go. And we got our haste two, and I got my efficiency uh, five pickaxe right here. Oh, yeah. That'll help out so much and so on. And, yeah, I know this pickaxe has fortune on it. I don't really care. I was just like, I need a pick. And it's just like, well, the bet, the, the only thing I got that I can combine, like, a, an efficiency four book onto was this fortune pick. And it's just like I got another fortune pick, so it's not a big deal. But, yeah, um, I'm, I think I have enough and the blocks to get a second beacon going in here. So, let's try that. Oh, wow. I don't even have to use my gold blocks. That's nice. That's really nice. Okay. I suppose, well, it doesn't really matter where I place that in my inventory. Place that there. Wait for the beacon to shine up. Okay. There we go. Place that there. And we want jump boost two. Done. And there we go. <laughs> well, this will definitely make into, make uh, getting everything out here into a lot easier to jump boost two, especially... So, yeah. Um. So one last thing I want to do in this episode is decide how far are we going to go down. So pretty much, I'm just going to go ahead, dig out this, dig out like this area right here, and kind of get a sense of how far down we want to go, and also at what Y level we are going to be considering, you know, uh, the area where it transitions from like stone bricks to glass, and so on. Um, I'm assuming we're probably going to, be around Y68, something around that, about, and so on. But yeah, I'll get back to you once I've settled on those details. Well, I believe I've actually settled on uh, which depth we're gonna go for here. Now, uh, I decided, you know, at about Y, end of 68 right there, and is where we're going to transition from the stone to glass. So pretty much like all the land has to be, you know, right there or below it, and so on. And I was thinking, you know what, 16 blocks down from that, and which we are right now. We're at Y52, so that's 16 blocks down from that, assuming I can do math, which I last I checked, I believe I sort of can. Um, yeah. And I think, I think this will be good. You know, it's not too far down, but not, but, uh, not too shallow or anything. It literally does kind of feel like you're inside a sort of trench in some way. I'm gonna use a rideable eye of ender to get out of here, and I am actually kind of curious how this little bit compares to everything else we got here. I'm not gonna make it. Ugh, dang it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna climb. I shouldn't have right-clicked that. I needed to left-click. Darn it. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Shift off. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Huh. Kind of odd they don't... Well, yeah, they're not supposed to bre break on... Uh, on uh ladders anyways from up here wow that's it that little bit this much of my pickaxe gone for that 
My goodness, what the what the heck have I gotten myself into? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh yeah. That's kind of insane. Anyways, guys, I think that'll be it for this episode. We've laid out the fa we've laid out like the plans for the base and have gotten started work on it and so on. In between episodes, I will be of course digging out these tr trenches, and in the next episode, we can hopefully start working on the interior and start working on design in general and so on. So yeah, and also one last thing, yeah, look at how much like for this little thing got like this much from it, that much like dirt, grass, cobblestone, and of course, there's andesite, diorite, and granite, and whatever, but my goodness. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna have no shortage of some bricks and so on. And I, yeah, I do need to go ahead and put that in uh, my furnace system over there, but yeah. Anyways, everyone, until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.